Hi Leo, here's a general look at your solar chart for October 2013 and until the 23rd the Sun, which is your ruling celestial body, is in an area of the chart which is very sociable so you're likely to be mixing and mingling more and also meeting, greeting, connecting, information gathering and maybe running around more. Mental processes are going to be accelerated at times because there will be quite a lot coming at you and um, also there could be education that's highlighted for some of you and uh, plans, schedules, itineraries, that sort of thing, timetables etc. At the same time as that's going on Venus until, well, until the end of the first week Venus is chiming in very much with that of the Sun in a very spontaneous, creative, fun orientated area uh, and um, you can make a good impression on others. You can feel more, you know, eyes on you, more appreciated, you know, you can be centre stage a little bit more and a romantic em uh, uh, emphasis might be there for some of you or for some of you more emphasis on young people, children and also animals and there's a kind of a dram drama with uh, Venus in this area of your solar chart as well. So uh, Venus is there up until the 8th. And uh, also um, we've got um, Mars in your first house. That's in your sign, in fact. Uh, and that means that you uh, can feel this uh, very busy... Uh, energy which um, makes it more necessary for you to take action for you to get the ball rolling or just kind of keep up with the ball that's already rolling it's it makes it easier for you to be uh, decisive or in fact it demands that you uh, initiate um, and there could be a, a lot more going on around you particularly in the first uh, part of the first half of the month and so more uh, stamina is likely to be needed there. So you've got to look after yourself uh, better because Mars can really run you ragged when it's going through your own signs. So, um, and uh, so, you know, get with the program, whatever that program is, uh, get yourself plugged into whatever you need to or plunged into whatever you need to. Uh, but you will find maybe that it demands more uh, leadership uh, from you uh, as you are kind of, you know, okay, you know, follow me, uh, uh, we're going this way. Uh, it can be a little bit like that. Um, also, it's a great time to, to look after your health more. You, some of you might be getting uh, with a program there. Uh, and also, um, you can, uh, and you would be advised to, to try to customise things to suit you better, to make things more comfortable, um, because it's not so easy with Mars barreling through your sign or actually barreling through you, uh, the, the sort of the, the, the energies of Mars. And uh, you, you can um, maybe try to do too much, spread yourself too thin. So you just need to find that balance, get more rest and recuperation uh, with this transit of Mars. And uh, you uh, go in for whatever you interest you need to uh, which will um, support yourself personally or support your personal aims and ambitions and as well your well-being. Um, from the 23rd the sun moves and then the focus is going to be more to do with home or if it's not home HQ, you know, point on the map, uh, a specific locality and perhaps also uh, connecting you to the past, connecting you to family members or family dynamics because maybe the family members aren't there but the, 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 the same old cranky machinery that was um, kind of scripted into you uh, and the patterning that was scripted into you that tends to become more you know uh, triggered now. Uh, property can be a feature for some of you and uh, a space inside outside particularly with uh, Venus in that area too some of you may be wanting to embellish a space um, and uh, make it sort of improvements which make the space more decorative or uh, ornate or just pleasing really 
uh, and um, welcoming, you know, and friendly. And in fact, um, it's a great time for connecting with the neighbours or with those over the wires like I'm doing here. Uh, uh, and also um, meeting uh, others, visiting others, them coming into your home or, or wherever you are more. And that feeling of, of, of a more sociable vibe around. And a very good thing to be doing at this time with um, Venus in this area, as well as the Sun. Venus comes in there earlier than the Sun does. Uh, Venus goes in there on the 8th is to connect with mother nature and natural surroundings and, and really feel the good that that brings you that can have a powerful effect with both the sun and Venus in there. The sun goes in there on the 23rd. Um, so, um, uh, and uh, that will help you find your equilibrium. That will help also to harmonize things with others in an emotional kind of a way, uh, I would say. Um, Mars, well, Mars moves, moves out of your sign from mid-month and that demands more effort going from you or just from whoever, but going into uh, the affairs of your piggy bank um, and also anything to do with your material, physical existence, uh, getting organized there with resources or people that can sort of underpin that or... Um, uh, activities or pursuits, um, you know, I mean a lot a lot of that would be work really, but uh, anything that um, can underpin uh, your um, and, and support your material security, um, the, 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 you know, feed the piggy bank, but also you're more um, active with um, anything to do with stuff, so that's possessions and that might be wanting to get your hands on them wanting to ditch some or maybe recycle and hand them on um, or a kind of protecting and maintaining um, but yeah there's a, there's a lot more feeling there of um, having to maintain uh, and get and manage um, stuff bits of kit equipment um, so more involvement there and any other bit of territory uh, that's important to you that needs a motivated and decisive approach because wherever Mars goes we have to be more decisive, we've got to take action, we've got to be more dynamic. Um, and uh, you could be um, striving just to um, make the most of resources really uh, but watch your step as you go forwards because Mars can be very impatient, rather hasty um, demanding as well if that energy is coming at you from others you know uh, bills on on the mat <laughs> sort of thing uh, or it can mean in fact that you've got to chase up certain people about certain things um, and uh, Mars though can be a bit impulsive so just watch your step there and uh, if there's any tensions try to work through them process and 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 just get done what needs to be done in a physical material sense um i should have mentioned that uh in the very first week of the month pluto and uranus are going to be making their presence known more noticeable really um uh, because they come within range of the sun and that's going to be up to about the fourth day of the f uh, of the first week or, or the last last day of the previous month so that would be for you July, August, last day of July, beginning of August. And um, it, it's, it can be up, um, slightly disruptive, maybe. It depends. It very much depends on your natal chart. It really will matter more for the cardinal signs, to be honest. Uh, but uh, it, you might have a cardinal planet or rising sign, so it's worth a mention. Um, but anyway, it can electrify the atmosphere uh, for good or ill and um, uh, just something unexpected going on. But definitely time to keep your cool and carry on and don't take any kind of a risk. And that's just in the first week there. Also a mention of Mercury going over Saturn, following hard on the heels of that one on the 8th and the 9th. Um, Mercury will um, and Saturn will just brush uh, across each other and again you could have more on your mind, a heavier workload, maybe a more pa 
things to do with paperwork, correspondence, uh, or discussions with others. So that's just for your information. Um, and then um, Mars as well. Mars and Neptune uh, cross each other's paths between the 18th and the 21st, so that might lower your vitality there. Or they could be, you could just be more, um, you could just be more vulnerable in some way, more open psychically, uh, and and or and or physically um, um, open to infections or side effects from this or that or the other, or and just more sensitive really to any kind of drug or medicine or you know uh, remedy uh, at this time. So to be aware of that and, and maybe more susceptible to being influenced uh, and uh, just look after yourself really and uh, try not to overreact to anything between those dates there. Just let things lie maybe if you can between the 18th and the 21st. Um, now uh, Jupiter, Jupiter uh, until uh, next July um, will help you to be working on yourself Leo, working on your stuff, your inner stuff. Uh, your deep stuff, stuff to do with the past, tying up loose ends. It'll help you to grow. And uh, although sometimes you might be working hard there, Jupiter isn't anything like as strict and disciplinary as Saturn. Um, so you might go up a blind alley or two, but it's it's all grist to your mill, it's all learning. And the material that you gather, uh, you could be really doing something with it in the background there or backstage, behind the scenes. You could be because you are a very creative sign, so you could be using the material, using the th things from your past and, and also what you're doing right now uh, during this transit as basic material which is going to maybe, you know, uh, um, uh, convert itself uh, into something quite lucrative later on, who knows. Um, that's just a kind of an idea, but uh, it's not a kind of an idea, it is an idea. and. Um, you can be uh, just growing, your imagination can grow, your ability to vision and to manifest even um, can grow uh, with the, the planet of potential abundance going through this area of your chart uh, and particularly um, uh, projects, anything going on behind the scenes, any pursuit, any activity like yoga, meditation, that would be great. Um, anything like that, anything to do with art or art therapy, anything which gets at your deeper stuff, your old stuff, your clutter, your skeletons in the closet, uh, that you can sort of, um, you know, draw the line under and turn the page, really, for when Jupiter comes into your sign next July. But uh, this is also a time when you can... Uh, look at things which cause you to be your own worst enemy, shoot yourself in the foot because you can't change old habits, emotional patterns or beliefs. So um, that's that's all going on there. And you, Leo, is born between the 10th and the 14th of August, always 18 to 22 degrees rising. You're going to feel this energy uh, the most this month. And then um, Saturn is, is at the root of your chart in a long cycle, challenging you to work harder because of responsibilities, family responsibilities. Uh, perhaps uh, getting along with others within a neighborhood, you know, the ne next door neighbors, uh, or um, it can mean uh, to do with the um, consequences of past actions, or maybe they weren't your actions, they were somebody else's actions, or anything that's just been handed down to you, um, inherited. Uh, it can be like that. Anything that you've just been tolerating and you can, you, during this transit of Saturn, it will push you just that little bit more to reach for answers. And anything that you've just been tolerating about your place on the map, your location, will now need your attention um, because, um, you know, you may feel something lacking, something, uh, some difficulty because of the, uh, um, those areas there. And... Um, uh, and and so yes, and Saturn will just uh, uh, sort of push push you a little bit harder. Um, and that's it for October. If you uh, want to know what the other uh, slow moving outer planets are doing, I update that every month. That's on my website. Which part of your sign they may be affecting. And also, if you know your rising sign or your moon sign, then listen to the forecast for those. Don't pay so much attention to the dates though. 
um, the information will be there but not the dating of that information uh, for reasons I cannot go into at the moment <laughs> um, but if this is your sun sign then uh, you can pay attention to the dates and uh, so listen to the forecast for those and I'll see you the next time